Hi, and welcome to this QuickBooks training video from Tracy Bressler CPA. We're going to take a look at the restore uh, function in QuickBooks, restoring a backup company file. Often we will see a, a situation where a QuickBooks user will create a backup copy of their QuickBooks company file, give that to an accountant or a bookkeeper who may make some quick changes and send that back to them, again in backup file form. And then the QuickBooks user needs to restore that onto their system, and they need to overwrite what's already on their system because they want to end up with just one QuickBooks company file, not two. So let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to click on the File menu, and I'm going to click on this second option here, which is Open or Restore Company. And in this window, you see I have a number of options. And the first one there, the one that is selected, says Open Company File. We, that's not what we want we want to restore a backup copy. So I will make that selection and then click Next. Uh, the next window wants to know if this is an online backup or a local backup. Local is the most common. Online backup would be where the backup had been created uh, with Intuit's uh, service to create the backup on an internet location somewhere off-site. Uh, that's not the case. We're looking at a local backup. I have the backup file on a flash drive which is inserted into a USB port on my computer here. So I will leave that selected and click on Next. Now my computer knew that um, drive, uh, you know, the, the drive letter E, the flash drive there, is where that backup file was located. That's where I backed it up to just a few minutes ago. And so that's already uh, selected for me and, and comes up in this window and here is the file that uh, I want to restore. Now, if it did not come up with the correct drive, I could fix that by just selecting this down arrow here and selecting some other drive. So there's a flash drive uh, designated as drive F. I could select that, and if there were a QuickBooks backup file here, uh, you know, I could pick that one. There's not, obviously, so I'm going to go back to my drive letter E and select my backup copy. I will click on Open. This just gives me some information about what's to come. Let's just take a look at that ourselves rather than read this. And here is the window. QuickBooks wants to know, well, where do you want to save this? Well, it's got the right place for me here because this is the sample file that I'm using for this video. So that really is the company file that um, I want to overwrite. Now, it's located, you see, in this folder that says QB Train 2009. Well, you probably don't have a folder called QB Train 2009. And so you're going to have to select a location on your computer where your QuickBooks company file is located. And I can't really tell you for sure where that is because that is optional. You could save that wherever you want it. Now, I can give you a pretty good idea where to look if you haven't chosen some special place on your computer for that. The first, the first place I would look is I would click on this down arrow. I would choose Drive C, and I would go to Documents and Settings, then All Users, then Shared Documents, then Intuit, then QuickBooks, and here in this Company Files folder. Now, I probably don't have any QuickBooks files in this folder because I've saved them all in other locations, and that is the case. Um, but that, that's where I would look because by default, often the uh, file will be created there if you just install the software on your computer and start using it. In our case, we need to go back to Drive C and QB Train 2009. There is our company file. I will click on Save. Ask me if I want to replace the file that's already existing, and yes I do, because that's the old file. It's the new file that's in the backup file on the flash drive that I'm going to replace it with. Now, QuickBooks wants to be really sure, so it's going to have me type yes here in just a minute. This message box will pull up. And there it is. Yes, I'm sure that I want to do that. And now it will take just a moment, and it will pull that uh, backup file off of that flash drive and restore it over the top of that QuickBooks company file that I already had on my computer called uh, QB Lesson. 
So that will allow me to get the copy of my company file with whatever changes my accountant or my bookkeeper or whoever had created. All right, this is a little information window that you won't get. It's just warning me that this is a sample file. This next one you will get, which is your data has been restored successfully. So I will just click OK. And then the uh, QuickBooks file is ready to go. It's complete, and I'm ready to start entering transactions. Let me just point out one more quick thing that might help you if you're looking for where is your QuickBooks company file located. If I go to the File menu and choose this, uh, or, or highlight this uh, Open Previous Company, then it tells me this is the company that is now open. And that's located on Drive C, QB Train 2009, QB Lesson. And from what we've done in the video so far, you know that's correct. And so that tells me where my company file uh, is located. So before I ever started the restore process, if I wanted to look here first to be sure where my company file was, I could do that. So that's just a little bit of a, just a little helpful hint there. Well, I hope this has been useful to you. I hope that um, this helps you with your uh, work with QuickBooks. We have other QuickBooks training videos on our website. We post those from time to time. I hope you'll find those helpful as well. Thank you.